A pro dating to 2008. Here is Khabib Nurmagomedov, one of the best wrestlers and grapplers to ever step foot inside this octagon. And the striking has really started to round into form. You know him as a Sambo master. This is a guy who immediately upon stepping foot inside the octagon was a force to be reckoned with at 155 pounds. On his best night, he's the best 155 pounder in the world. We'll see if he is at his best here tonight under the lights. This guy has one of the best abilities to take a shot that I have ever seen in all my years of commentating on fights. His chin is truly world class. So, Joe, as this fighter makes his way to the octagon, let's start with the kicking technique because it is just outstanding. He doesn't telegraph a thing, and I think what really jumps out of the film room for me is his ability to get his foot off the canvas to the target so quickly. A lot of guys just don't even see it coming, and he doesn't discriminate. He'll attack that lead leg. He'll go to the body. Beautiful head kick upstairs as well. The technique is really what sets up everything to this guy's game, and his opponent certainly wary of what's coming back with those kicks tonight. This guy is one of the toughest guys I have ever seen inside the Octagon. His ability to absorb punishment and then come back from it is just absolutely incredible to watch. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, are you ready? You ready? All right, so this UFC Grand Prix tournament is coming up next. This format has been all the rage with a lot of the hardcore mixed martial arts fans out there. Sort of an homage to the history of UFC and Pride with a single night tournament game event here. And let's see who can be the last man standing here tonight. Nice defense here. Single leg takedown attempt will not materialize. Leg kick lands. Nice head kick. He's doing a great job of mixing things up here, keeping it unpredictable. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. And moves to north south. Looks like he's trying for a submission now. He's got the choke. He wants to move his opponent's left arm out of the way. That's the arm that's defending. Once he gets that out of the way, then he can work the choke. Stunning. And there it is. Stunning, and he really made it look easy. Use great technique to get the choke and get the win. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here's the end. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Wrigley out there has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, three seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Happy Mike, the Eagle.